Welcome back, everybody. It is the final episode for The Sims 24, well, 24 Checklist Challenge. I am sorry. I know this episode's coming out a week later. I was experiencing a little bit of a burnout with a lot of the things I was doing as far as my home life and all of the recording and the streaming, so I took a week break from it, and I feel refreshed. So, we are officially going to finish this challenge today. And then uh, moving forward, I'll just be doing the House Hunters for a little bit. Um, but if you miss me, you can definitely join me on my Twitch side of things. And I do a challenge right now for Sims 4 on Tuesdays. So, um, but all of that can be found in the description below. So let's see what we have left to work on for this checklist challenge. So we have to eat the cow plants cake. So I'm going to get that from the gallery. We have to raise a sim from the dead. So we need to move somebody in. And I had an idea of who to do that for. Um, we have to lift the curse of the night wrath. That's the hardest one to get right now. Take a chance with puffer fish nigiri, fight the paparazzi, and get to six them. We're very close. Like, fight the paparazzi will be easy. Get to six them. We're very close to that. Um, the puffer fish will be super easy. It's just whether or not we die. So maybe, maybe we're the ones getting raised from the dead. So let's jump into the Sims and see what we can get done first. Okay, so it looks like we need to take care of her needs before we do anything. So we'll start with that. Looks like she's hungry, she needs a sh shower, and she needs to sleep. And of course, it's water shutoff day. But she should at least be able to eat. In case anyone's wondering, we did just download a cow plant. Or, or a fully grown cow plant because that was the simplest way I could go about things. So now, like I said, we will take care of Ebony and start our daily tasks. Here's our cute little children just going about their day. So I hired a daycare service so we could work on our rocket science. And um, we are actually... This is going to be level 10. Also, I don't know if I mentioned, I did not actually take a picture when we were at the Forgotten Grotto. We went to the Forgotten Grotto. I forgot it was you were supposed to take a selfie there, so we could go there today and take a little selfie. My bad. And then maybe maybe we take Vlad and we ask him to move in with us. That's, that's a thought. Oh, she's taking a shower. It looks like the water got turned back on. But it looks like we're going to check something off pretty quick here because, yes, I know you guys are like, you cheated. You guys, this has been a long challenge, and some of these things have been difficult. So, let's eat the cake. His name is Bob. We're gonna eat the cake, and yep. You shouldn't die on the first chance, I'm pretty sure. So, let's, uh-oh. Please spit us back up. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Thank you for that. So now, now we'll go ahead and take a shower. We'll take a shower, clean up, use the bathroom, take a panicked poop. Yeah, she's a little scared now. Now, we don't want to do that again because I believe you will die the second time around. So, we'll just let that be. And she's hungry, so we'll feed her here. I am going to make her work out in the rain, on the rocket. I guess we should keep an eye on her and make sure she doesn't um, die. <laughs> but we want this to get to uh, 10 because I think you can go to 6 and once you reach level 10 rocket science. And then we'll go to our checklist, I promise. Of course, we're going to be fine with that. I um, was wondering if I want to go over to her house and hang. No, I don't. I am very busy working in the rain and hopefully not getting electrocuted at the same time. We are so close, you guys, to level 10. I can't believe she's still working on it with how terrified she is, but she, she's going. What am I doing out here? I don't know what you're doing out here, Ebony. You're working on getting to level 10 rocket science. That's what you're doing. She is... <gasps> it's not brain surgery. She has reached the max level. She is now a master rocket scientist. Awesome. Can she explore... Can she go to six of now? Did we make a wormhole generator? You can take a break, girl. Go ahead, run inside, run inside. I think, I think she can go to six of We're gonna have her explore space. I'm not quite sure she can go to six of yet, but we'll see. Something's alive. Rattle, rattle, crash. Ebony is on the way back from the Comet Esson flea market when she hears banging inside a rocket ship cargo hold. She thinks back through recent salvage efforts. Nothing living, certainly. Should Ebony call out or try to take whatever it is by surprise? Call out? Ebony picks up a piece of metal pipe and shouts, anybody there? The rattling stops. Silence. She calls again. Again, there's no response. Whatever's in there doesn't want to be found. Ebony has two choices. She can brace the door shut or go in swinging. Nah, yeah, just shut it. A small cry for distress. So far, so good. Ever since Ebony braced the door, the cargo hold has been silent. If she can make it to the pest extermination station, she can get the problem taken care of and be on her way but then a new sound starts small sad sobbing does ebony stick to her guns or peek in the hole stick to guns refuse service ebony pulls up to the extermination station drive through and begins to explain the situation to the guys at the window unfortunately the sobbing has gotten louder much louder on convince that ebony has a sobbing rat on board they refuse to help now what take a peek ambush ebony slowly opens the door and peers inside just then something soft and squishy thumps onto her back and a tentacle threads around her neck don't move a small voice whispers 
Everything goes black. Ebony faints, which is technically moving. Uh-oh. Captured. Ouch, Ebony's head hurts, and when she tries to move, she realizes that she's handcuffed to her pilot seat. A sharp, cold object is poking her back. To take me home, a voice stammers. It's oddly deep, and Ebony realizes it's a juvenile voice trying to sound older. Does she comply or try to reason? Ah, reason. The stowaway. So much better. Free of handcuffs, Ebony sizes up the creature she bought at tax as taxidermy. It's just a stupid juvenile that was dared by its brother to pretend. Now it wants a joyride around the galaxy and a free lift home. Ebony knows she could get charged with alien napping, but she did promise. Go for it. Yeehaw, nothing like a wide-eyed kid to make Ebony feel like a hero. And with four eyes, the effect is doubled. After a speed race around planet Tumachu and a few stellar flips, she deposits four eyes at home and receives a nice reward from its mom. $200. Nice. So she wasn't able to go to six I wonder if she has to... She might have to continue upgrading her rocket, which is fine. So while she takes a shower, let's go ahead and check off. Where is it? Where is it? Eat the cow plants cake. Check mark. All right. We have everything done on this side. Just cross her off. Now we have raise a sim from the dead. We still have to get this curse. So we got a lot to go. A lot to do. A lot to do. Oh man, she just had a duel and I missed it, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and take care of her needs. And then we are going to go try to duel a couple people to see if we can get the um the night wrath curse of the night wrath we'll have her sleep a little bit first all right so we're traveling to the magic realm whoa are they doing a duel? we just got here and she's doing a duel is that what's happening yep oh she's winning that's not what we wanted well that's great definitely not what we wanted also how do you make ambrosia again how to make ambrosia sims 4 oh yeah i need the death flower don't i well it is 9 a.m. or p.m. so I don't think that is op available. So let's chart. Let's let's do some duels here. I don't know if it worked. Are we not doing the duel? Would you like to do a duel? Let's do it. All right. So she's going to the dueling grounds. Let's see if she can do it. You guys, we want to be defeated. We want to get a curse over here. I think we're losing. Okay. We're gonna keep challenging her. We're going to try our best. I just am doing heated duels because. I need her to I need her to be bad. See this too? If this keeps getting worse, the more red this gets, I think the better chance we have at getting the night curse. Or the night wrath. No, don't leave. Oh, she left. Okay, we need to find somebody else. I don't think she wants to keep doing it, but I'm gonna have her. We'll see if it works a third time. She said yes. So they're doing it right here. Like I said, you guys, we're gonna just keep doing this. Because look at she's about to I don't know what happens. There's also the possibility of becoming cursed. So this is good. <gasps> is this it? Nope. Son of a nutcracker. Keep going. I think you can get three curses. So, curse of awkward embraces. You're just really not into hugging and touching others now. All right. I need another curse. All right. We're going to keep trying, you guys. Fast forward to when I get the curse I need. And I will remove one of these if needed. Okay. So she has to stop because she could die now that she has this immensely overcharged um, spellcaster right here. So we're just going to let that dwindle down a little bit and we're gonna go see if we can collect any we need a death flower i don't think anyone's open yet oh they're open so we need a death flower and then as far as getting rid of the curse i'm seeing what we could possibly need so we need to practice untamed magic in order to even get to that point in life so that's good to know we need a death flower so that's not here we're checking anyways oh they just closed on me rude so we need to practice untamed magic who would we ask for help not you. All right, guys, we went home to just get her charged down. We worked on some of her skills. We are going to have her work on her rocket a little bit more. Like I said, there's a lot of, ooh, under what can it, ooh, let's do money, money, money. We're going to get a lot of money. Um, We have to get married. So we could call Vlad. You guys, we could get married to Vlad. How's that sound? Although we'll get a lot of money from him anyways. Do you want to go on a date? Yeah. We're going on a date with Vlad, you guys, because what perfect timing. Ooh, he took us to a beautiful place, too. Hey, Vlad, let's go sit here together. Get out of the flippin' sun, you dork. Yeah. I don't want you to burn, because I want to marry you. Hug. Let's go ahead and flirt. Um, Don't cloud gaze. That's a terrible idea. Let's kiss him. And you know what? Should we just go ahead and propose immediately? We have to propose inside. Oh, he better say yes. He said yes! Yay! We're making this happen, like, fast. You just got engaged. Congratulations. Aww. Just so everyone knows, when we're done, I'm going to move this family into my Twitch Let's Play so that her generation and legacy can continue. 
Also, if we decide to do another challenge on the YouTube page, we can also use her family for that. We're eloping immediately with Vlad, you guys. What a perfect date. They- Oh, why is he seem upset? Sorry, my music from the show. My music from Sims and then the music I have playing in the background does not mesh well. <gasps> Are they married yet? Nope. Still exchanging vows. They're exchanging their vows. Oh my god, there's three different musics happening at once for this. All right. Let's kiss. Aww. There it is. All right, they're married. And yes, Vlad is moving in with us. With his... He only has 20,000. Perfect. All right, guys. It's official. They're married. Also, his power points. He needs to not melt. He needs to, like, not melt in the sun. Um, I don't know where that is exactly. Also, I'm sorry. My nose has been killing me since I started recording. Let's end the date. All right, let's go home. Luckily, it's been very dark in Brindleton lately, so hopefully Vlad will be fine. He'll be fine here, right? Yeah, he's perfectly fine. She's going to go ahead and work on continuing the upgrade. Vlad, these are his kids actually, so this is kind of great. Look at he's bonding with his kids. Oh, someone stinks. Well, these are your children, so you need to take care of them, Vlad. Aww, take care of your kids. I'm gonna watch Ebony to make sure she doesn't get electrified. She's gonna go do a duel because she was just asked, and remember, we need to get that curse. I don't want to put a challenge failed sticker at the end of this episode, but I will. I don't want to. It's really hard to get that curse. All right, hopefully she loses. As long as she doesn't die. You guys, I think she's... Oh, she was winning. Ow, dude. Well, there was that. Well, while she's here, are these stores open? I'm having her experiment right here for now because she... In order to get rid of these curses, she does need to up her skill here. Oh, she's been given a sample of a recipe. Let's see what it was. The potion of good fortune. A potion to find helpful items while doing everyday activities. All right. What do you need for that? Turquoise and valerian root. Mandrake and dirt frog. She's gonna go home. I think we might stop trying for the curse because I am struggling so much with it. We're gonna just work on other things like getting to six them. Maybe going back to the Forgotten Grotto and getting a picture, a selfie. All right, Ebony. Oh, try for a baby. Let's not. Uh, let's not start that on fire. You worked really hard on that. You work on that, girl. Tomorrow, maybe we go find some paparazzi. Why not? What is the lad doing? I think he's taking care of his kids, kind of. He's reaching another. He just reached parenting level, too, so that's good. Look, you can clean up your kids. Play with your children. That's precious. All right, how's Ebony doing? Ebony, you are so close to getting that upgraded. We already added the wormhole thing. Guys, I just realized, I don't think we got the money for getting married. Remember? Money, money, money. Well, I don't know about that, you guys. Well, shouldn't we have gotten 25 extra from the money, money, money thing? Yeah, if you become married. Good luck. Okay, well, I guess we didn't get that. Um, oh, there it is. Install wormhole generator. That's what we needed, you guys. Yes, Vlad loves gossip. You, you go ahead. You go ahead, Vlad. I'm hoping this doesn't take too long. Um, I wish I could have her work on that, though, while we go fight the paparazzi, but I can't. Also, we need to bring a sim back to life. And you know what? There's two ways of doing that. So she's going to take a break here. She's going to travel. She's going to travel two places. She's traveling by herself. It's too sunny for Vlad. She has two places to go. One, she needs to fight some paparazzi. So let's go do that quickly. Super simple, right? There's always paparazzi around. I don't even think you have to be in a bad relationship. I think you can just fight them. All right, so we're here in Del Sol Valley, just waiting for some paparazzi to show up. She used to have some fame. I don't think she does anymore. No, she does not. Brittany Cho, Octavia Moon. Where are you going? Who's, who's sorry of you? And Judith Ward. Yep, she's pretty neat. Where is the paparazzi? There we go. Um, rude introduction. Because then we can fight him right away. He is the paparazzi. I don't know how long it takes to be able to fight him. Do you have to be famous to fight the paparazzi? I wonder if you have to have a fame perk to be able to fight the paparazzi. You might. Okay. Well, he already hates us. So why don't we go ahead and get one star and then we will go ahead and um, fight him next time. Because she paints so much, we can easily have her become a celebrity again, I think. We're going to see if we can get Shino to move in with us. Also, we could have Vlad take a chance with Pufferfish, just saying. Okay, where's Sh I think Shino... Where is Shino? Well, let's just knock on the door and find Shino. Hello! I need to use your bathroom too, please. Thank you. Where do we put Shino's grave, you guys? Anyone? I think we need Shino's grave. Where? Why? This is random. Yeah, go claim that. What's, what's going on? What's going on with all this stuff? you got back here. I mean, I'm not opposed to taking it. What you growing? Garlic? I don't eat that. Did you guys? Where's Shino? Huh? Um, let's see. 
I mean, I know she's dead, but let's see if we can call her forth. No? Oh no. We might not be able to. I mean, she's come forth before. Can we... Well, maybe we just hang out here long enough and Sheena will show up? She she died up here, but I definitely don't see a grave. Okay, she can resume this painting while she's here. We'll just paint while we wait for Sheena. Oh. Ebony does own these. She made these. Made by Ebony. Made by Ebony. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Technically, she should be able to claim those. She made them. Is there any more? No, just those two. Oh, yeah, you you fix you complete that. You go, girl. Did you finish it? She can't do anything with. Okay, that's baloney. Cause it's not her house. Okay, I'm just waiting to see if I can see a ghost. Guys, this isn't going well. I'm seeing if Don Lothario's grave is at his house. This is where they lived. So hopefully he died at home and there's a grave there and we can call him forth. And then we're gonna make him move in with us just temporarily. Just just very temporarily. All right, give a little noxy noxy on the door. Hello, is your husband's grave here? Okay, we don't know where he died. I'm just assuming he died here, but I don't see a grave, so I could be wrong. So apparently the next time a ghost contacts me, we are, oh my God, stop. Nope, don't leave. I just found his grave. You guys, how did I miss? Oh no, I had it paused and the phone call went away. You guys, there's three graves at the front door. Flapjack, Sienna, how'd you die? Okay, well either way, we can go home now. I took Don Lotharo's grave. I cheated the system a little bit. We stole Don's grave and we're gonna bring Don back to life and back to his family. That's, that's the goal here. Yes, we did sleep with Don while he's married, but it's okay. We're gonna bring him back to life because that's part of the, the thing we need to do. We will put Don here. Um, strengthen connection. Hopefully Don will come forth then. She's gonna take care of her needs there. So now we just have to wait for Don to come out. So she's gonna work on her needs and then we can work on the, oh, she should, she should just make some paintings, especially a small painting she should make. Oh, Vlad's crying for Don. You guys, what the heck? Vlad, did you even know Don? He's like, yes, I did. I was besties with him. Is that Don? <gasps> Don! Discuss angry mood with Don. Guys, Don's here. Okay, so I had an idea. Technically, the wishing well, that is very expensive, couldn't randomly put this over here. Can't this bring him back to life? Wish for youthful, wish for a child. You guys, can you bring a sim back to life that way? Can the wishing well sims for bring a sim to life aha it can i just think don needs to be part of the family um so we just need to we just need to do that you guys compliment him compliment his outfit i think we have to ask him to join our family invite to stay the night friendly compliments support don's facial hair ask about favorite author ask about being dead we are really trying to get him to join our family brighten day talk about the um, talk about grilled cheese. Ebony needs to be better friends with Don. Ask to stargaze? Discuss crystal properties. It's weird that the option was there. Um, where was that? Invite to household. Become best friends. Here. If we're best friends, will he move in? Don is joining our household. So Don is in our house. Now we can make an offering of 5,000. We're spending a lot of money. I know. What a highly generous offering. The Whispering Wishing Well is most pleased and will nearly certainly grant a wish. Okay. Okay. So how do you, how do you wish, wish for life? He's not the one who, all right, guys, is it working? <gasps> you guys, I think it's working. <gasps> Don, you're alive. It worked. I'm counting that as you guys. Now watch. You guys ready? I'm going to have him split from household. Split from household. Bye, Don. Other households. Um, there is a Lothario. Oh no, not in world. Okay, I think this works either way. I was a little confused at how this works. But I should be able to move him in with his family, which live in Chestnut Ridge. Yeah, hopefully he didn't take any money from us. Now I'm hoping the family is overwhelmed with joy with what just happened. Okay, let's see how happy everybody is. Oh no, is this his wife? Probably. Let's look at his family. Let's look at his family tree here. Yeah. His daughter and son. And he has a grandson. Oh, granddaughter. Aw. Yeah, I think his wife is dead. That's fine. We're going to go to Manage Worlds. So we're going to save. And we'll go back to Ebony. I think that was a wonderful way to bring us in back to life. It counts. All right. With that being said, we can go ahead and check off Raise a Sim from the Dead. Woo! Okay. We got four more things to go. Honestly, you guys, I don't think this one's happening. I don't think it's going to happen. So we can do these three. So let's go ahead and get back to the game. All right, you guys, I think she can do it. Travel through wormhole. Also, it looks like she gets fame. So maybe we don't have to 
paint as much. Let's see if she gets to six them. Through the wormhole, the ship hurtles through the wormhole and emerges near an alien planet. A series of odd noises comes from the on-ship radio, and Ebony is suddenly teleported off her ship. Beam down. Yay! <gasps> She's here! Collect things while you're here, Ebony. Look at how pretty that is. This place is actually really cool. This source has already been collected. Are there any aliens around? I don't see any. But look how pretty this world is. It's too bad you can't... I think you can technically build somewhere here. I don't know where it is, but it, it takes, like, a cheat, I'm pretty sure, as well. We're just collecting all these things because we can sell them. Oh, what's over here? It's so pretty! Oh, here's something to collect. You know what? While she's here, I'm just having her collect things. And then we'll see if an alien shows up. But look at all the things. She's collecting a lot of things, too. Oh, alien! Is it leaving? Where are you going? Hi. Hello. Cheerful introduction. Let's meet our first alien. Hello. I've never me met an alien before. Yay! We're here. Look how pretty it is. Picture. Okay. Ready, guys? Get to six um. Check. Okay. We need to fight the paparazzi and take a chance with pufferfish. Yeah, yeah. I know. I didn't get the curse. I know. Let's return home. No, you don't need to take the alien with you. It's all right. How famous can you get for exploring space? All right, I may have tried something to make her a notable newcomer. So let's go back to Del Sol Valley and see if she can fight the paparazzi now that she's a one-star celebrity. Technically, if I could have sold those paintings at the other house, that would have been easier. But no, you guys are just learning that this last episode, some cheats have been used to get things done. The only cheat I don't know how to use is to get that stinking curse. So let's find some paparazzi. It just takes them a little time to get here. All right, any of you the paparazzi? No, nope, you're a celebrity. You're a celebrity, a fan, a fan. Where's the paparazzi? You're 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 famous. What are you? You're just a normal person. You guys, that was oh, what's wrong? The mixologist is crying. He just glitched out, but there was the paparazzi. I don't think the paparazzi can be in here. No, there's a host in there. Hostess with the mostess. What are you? You're nothing. Oh, somebody just came and challenged me to a duel. Okay. Here's a celebrity wearing a fun, fun thing. Okay. How funny would it be if I got the curse of the Night Wrath after this? Where are my paparazzi at? Are you a pop? You look like a pop. You're a bouncer. Where are my paparazzi at? Huh? Apparently paparazzi aren't here, which is weird. So maybe they're at the museum for some odd reason. Let's check out the museum. Guys, I found a paparazzi. Found a paparazzi. Let's do this. I'm gonna be mean. I'm doing a rude introduction to this paparazzi. Yes. Insult. I wonder if I need to be higher level. Um, higher level star. Okay, fight the paparazzi. Let's do it. Excuse me, sir. I don't like you. So I'm just gonna take you down. Ebony's been in a lot of fights, so this isn't new for her. You do have to be a higher rank, just so you know. At least, it made me be a higher rank. When I say made, I made us a higher rank. Alright. Dislikes high energy sims. Yeah, you you dislike those people. Okay. She's gonna travel somewhere else now. It's 11pm, so I don't know if it'll work. Um, I just want to see if any of the food stalls are open. But I don't think you can necessarily get the puffer fish unless it's a festival. So we will find out very shortly. And while we check that out, ready? And fight the paparazzi. All right, one more to go. Technically two, but just, we're going to pretend that that's not there. Okay, are th do we got any food? We got a food stall. Does it have what I want? No, we tried. I think that's the only food stall. Yeah. All right. You guys can go home. Nothing to see here. Mondays and Thursdays, Fashion District, we should be able to find puffer fish. It is a Monday, so we will just have them go to bed and we can work on it from there. Look at the kids, you guys, making a mess, but they're adorable. The kids also age up in a day, so that's exciting. Today, it is Ebony's birthday, though. Can Vlad make a cake? Vlad's gonna try to make a cake. Oh, it looks like Ebony's teaching her kids stuff. Wow, Vlad, that is quite the ensemble. You look quite terrifying as well. Oh, it's everybody's birthday. We could just age them all up. What do we think? We could celebrate the end of the episode with everyone aging up. You can add birthday candles again. Ebony aged up! Congratulations! No one take a piece of cake. It's not an option right now, okay? But let's get leftovers because I'm hungry. She can eat, she can use the restroom, and she can sleep. She's a little scared though, so we'll see what that brings us. Vlad, do you want to clean out the spoiled food, please? Thank you. So she's going to go take a nap, and then we'll go see if we can go to the food stall. We need to go to the fashion district, and it's a Japanese food stall. We got to bring Vlad, so 
I might make it not sunny out. Or just have him hide in a building. That's fine. A difficult family dynamic. I don't mind that. It's fine. All right, girly. You're going to travel with Vlad, just in case you die. Um, we're going to go try some puffer fish, if it's available. We need to go to the fashion district. Oh, this was the fashion district, you guys. We were in the right area. Otherwise, we have to wait for the romance festival, which I don't know what day of the week that's on. Hopefully, by going to a food stall, we don't, you know, they know how to prepare it and we don't die. Why aren't you open? You, you aren't Japanese. Um, Vlad, you go sing a solo for your love. When's this gonna open up? Ooh, somebody just got there. Hello. I would like to try something. Puffer fish. All right, guys, we're doing it. Is it this one? Hello. We're trying something and hopefully not dying, please. All right. Please don't kill me. All right, everybody. What's the quality? It's excellent. So we shouldn't die. Well, she doesn't know how to use chopsticks either, but... All right. I think I think she did it. She didn't finish it yet. She's still eating it. Is she enjoying it? I think you can't die with excellent puffer fish, right? It's still taking a chance. Are we flirting? Oh, so we did just learn this recipe by doing that. She did it! She's alive! All right. We can go home. Vlad, let's go home. So I think the puffer fish has to be pretty poor quality for you to die. So getting it from a food stall is a great idea. But we had the wishing well as backup if Ebony would have died. All right, guys. I know some of you are probably disappointed, but I could not get this curse. And I am done trying for it. Um, I know. All you have to do, you just have to keep doing duels to get it. But we are just going to end it here and say we did it. But you can also go ahead and put a stamp on my screen. I'll probably try to insert that myself and say challenge failed. And I am sorry for letting you down. But I did almost all of it. And technically we went to the Forgotten Grotto. I just didn't take a selfie. So we did it, kind of. Okay, so next thing I wanna do for you guys is I am going to save. We're gonna go to Manage Worlds, save and go to Manage Worlds. And I'm gonna upload this family to the gallery for you guys so that if you wanna complete the challenge with just the Night Wrath, let me know in the comments below if you did it. I'd love to see the progress you made. I'm just struggling. But yeah, so we're going to click on them. All right. Oh, it says it's modded. I don't know what is modded. It might be her hair, and I apologize if that's so. What is... Oh, it's showing both of him. So there might be some custom content on Ebony currently, so just know that when you download it, you might have to change her hair, or maybe she has eyelashes. I'm not sure. But if you guys go into my gallery, which is Simtagious HM, um, I had to do my name because... Simtagious is apparently claimed by somebody on here who knows who. Um, so I did Simtagious 24 challenge and you can go ahead and download the family. Um, I'll put a little description in here for you guys as well. Um, but yeah, you should be able to upload that. But thank you guys again for tuning in for this challenge and following me along the way. I know I failed it. Um, it was really hard to get that Night Wrath one, but we got other curses so we can call it a day, right? But I will continue doing my Thursday episodes, which are my house hunters. Otherwise, you guys can always catch me on my Twitch, which is in the description below with my schedule. I stream Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Sims is on Tuesdays. And I hope I can meet some of you there. And just thank you all for being here with me. And I hope you enjoyed the challenge. And if there's anything you want to see in the future, please let me know. And I'll talk to you guys all again very soon.